Valves, it's an important part to your wheel set and also an important part to make your bike run properly. But why are we always talking about valves on this YouTube channel? Well, we are because we keep getting our hands on extremely innovative designs. Today on bikepacking.com, Miles reviewed the 76 Projects High Flow No Clog Tubeless Valves. And if that sounds familiar, well, it's because Reserve Wheels use that exact same language to describe the new Fillmore valve. But 76 Projects launched the High Flow No Clog Tubeless Valve a handful of months before the Fillmore valve. So if you wanna read Miles' written review on the 76 Project's high flow, no clog tubeless valve, that's linked below, or you can also click on this card here. But Miles went a step above and he gathered a variety of high flow valves and ended up doing an experiment to showcase which one actually has the highest flow. So in this video, we are going to share that experiment. Let's do it. So if you like what you see in our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you wanna help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. The Bikepacking Collective includes monthly giveaways, industry discounts, and of course, twice a year, the Bikepacking Journal. The stack of inspiring stories and awesome photography continues to grow. So if you're interested in signing up for the Bikepacking Collective, there's a link provided below. So I should be getting a set of the 76 Projects High Flow no clog tubeless valves in the not too distant future, but just taking a quick look at them, I truly appreciate the innovative design. So Miles and Justin of Taw's Bike Garage in Powell River, British Columbia, spent some time designing a pretty accurate way to compare airflow between different valves. So the valves used in this experiment were the 76 Project's high flow, no clog valves, the Tursky titanium valves, a standard Presta valve that you would probably find at your local bike shop or say online, and of course the Reserve Fillmore valve. So what they ended up doing was they secured balloons onto the base of the four different valves and inflated them to an equal plus or minus 5% size and opened each valve at the same time to see what balloon emptied the quickest. It was clear that the Fillmore valve was the fastest, followed by the 76 Projects valve. But they didn't stop there. The basic blue balloons, eh, they just weren't cutting it. So Miles scavenged the local dollar store and he found some animal balloons, which actually seemed like a really great idea for this experiment. The animal balloons allowed for more pressure, so this experiment allowed for more clear results as you can see. With both the blue balloons and the animal balloons, the reserve Fillmore valves evacuated all of the air fastest, followed by the 76 Project valves, and of course the Tursky and regular standard Presta valves. It's clear in the results that the high flow valves worked a lot better than your standard Presta valve. So what's the takeaway here? Well, these newer high flow valves, they actually do have much more airflow than your standard Presta valve. More flow means an easier tubeless setup at home, less clogging, and overall a just more reliable tubeless system. But of course the question remains, is it worth the money? The Fillmore valve is a $50 valve. The 76 Project valves come in at just under 35 USD more affordable. And the one thing that 76 Projects has going for them is a variety of different valve lengths to fit a variety of rim depths. Anyways, what do you all think? As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further.